Hi, I'm Angie Bridges from Creative Gift Packaging. Today we're going to show you uh, how to make an Easter Bunny using a new technique with our 10 inch snowball mesh and our 10 inch burlap mesh. We're going to use some styrofoam balls, a wire wreath form, and some black chenille stamps. This is just a little more complicated than your standard wreath is, but we're sure that you're going to have fun with it. So stay tuned and let's get busy. Okay, the first thing you're going to do, I use an OmniGrid uh, mat and an OmniGrid cutter to cut my mesh, but you can also use a ruler uh, and some scissors if you prefer, or if you don't, don't have this. But the first thing you want to do is you're going to take your mesh and you're going to cut it about 18 inches long. So you're going to cut some squares that are 18 inches long. Set them to the side. Now, unfortunately, you're going to use about five rolls, or right at five rolls, by the time you complete the bunny and you do the ears. So you're just going to cut a few. I'm going to just cut a few just to show you, again, how we do it. But I already have some cut here that I'm going to use. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you how to do the loops that we put on there. Some of you are familiar with the pleat technique and the curl technique. And this uses kind of the same uh, concept, but just a little bit different. So the first thing I do is I kind of fold this, not quite in half, but where these two overlay, just about an inch, uh, that these two overlay. And then you're just going to pleat up like you do when you're doing your pleats all the way up to get to this and it makes a little bow. And then what you're going to do is take, reach out of here and get a couple. Then you're going to take a twist tie and you're going to put it in there and you're just going to twist it. So you have a little pleat little butterfly looking thing with a twist tie back here. Alright, so we're going to do, I'm going to show you how to do a few of these to you get the hang of it. Just fold that over. Fold this one this way. Then you're just going to pleat up. Till you got your little bow. Take a twist tie. You're gonna twist it. Now we do sell these six inch, these are six inch twist ties by the way. We do sell these. You also can use probably garbage bag ties or something else if you have, but it is gonna use a pretty good bit before we get done, so you may wanna just buy you a pack of them. But you twist it in so that you have a little bow like that. But you're going to make you a bunch of these little pleats like so. And it does take a pretty good bit. How many, I'm not sure. I guess it depends on how close you put them together. How, you know, and how many, you know, how big a wreath form you make. This right here is the 16 inch wreath form. First thing you want to do is take your wire frame and your deco wire. You want to cut a piece uh, so long. And I've already cut us a piece, so I'm going to start right here. I'll weave it under here. Get it to about where it'll come back down good. And then I'm going to go under here. This is deco wire, and it's really easy to work with. It's really easy to bend. I'm sure you could use floor wire or uh, anything like that. Uh, but this right here is very easy to work with. So, um, And it's easy to bend, so I like to use it when we can but anyway you're going to go over and the whole purpose of this is we're going to make our puffs down this 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 piece of wire right here so we're going to have to make a middle so that we can use that all right 
And this doesn't have to look real pretty because uh, this will never be seen once your wreath is made. <clears throat> is going to get the what we need done then you're just going to cut your wires this is very easy to cut to deco wire you can actually cut with scissors but it will kind of ruin the head of your scissors after a while so you might want to use wire cutters all right so now this kind of looks like that just so you have some lines down the middle so now what you're going to do, now that you've put your center wire in, is we're going to take our little loops that we made and we're going to place them around. All you're going to do is take the tie that's on the back and twist it into the frame. We're going to do a couple of these to show you how. Just take the little twist tie, twist it into the frame. And every time you twist one, just push it down a little bit. Tie it. Push it. All right, and then you're going to do that all the way around. And every time you push it, it's going to kind of gather it up together. Then you're going to, after you go all the way around the inside, you might want to do the outside first. It's just up to you which one you prefer. Um, after you do the outside, I mean the inside, go all the way around. Then you're going to take and do all the outside. So you're going to do all the outside, all the inside, and they're going to be pushed down all the way around. So then, after you get all that done, then you're going to work on your center. And you're going to do the same process as what you do all the way around. You're just going to zip tie these in and keep pushing down. And you're going to do this all the way up the center. So it's the same concept as all the way around. And I used five rolls of 10 inch on this bunny rabbit. Uh, now this is a 16 inch frame so if you want a smaller bunny rabbit I'm not sure how many you'd use but you definitely would use less. You can go to the 10 inch frames. We also have 12 inch and 14 inch frames. So it really just depends on how big you want your bunny rabbit. But you're going to do the same concept as you did all the way around. So all you're doing is pushing down. So you're pushing down, you go all the way around the middle, all the way around the outside, and then all the way up. And after you do that, then we'll come back and show you how to add your eyes and your nose and all that. Okay, so basically, once you fill in this middle, this is what you have. And so it's very tight, very tight loops all the way around, as you can see. Alright, so then what we're going to do is we're going to take these little little two inch balls I think it's what they are and we're going to make the eyes so we're going to take and we're going to cut a little bit more than what we need and I'll show you why here in just a few minutes so we're going to cut up up here on these and because the styrofoam shows through on the mesh some. So we chose sparkle because it, it seems to have more foil and hides. So you want to take one and turn it this way. And one and turn it that way. And that way that's going to hide more of the ball. You're going to put your ball in the center just like you do. Uh, I don't know if some of you done ghosts back at Halloween. But you're going to turn it around and it's going to be like this. Alright. I just kind of twist it and then take one of these uh, twist ties and twist it as tight as you can. You can also use zip ties. I did use zip ties on the ones that I'm fixing to put in here. 
Um, but, you know, twist ties will work too, just like I'm showing you. So you want it to look kind of like this. And then you're going to use some bigger balls that we have. Like, these are the three inch balls, I believe. And what we're going to do there is we're going to take this ivory colored mesh and we're going to do the same concept as what we've done with the black. But we're going to go over these. So when you get done, you're going to have the black eyeball, two of these for the cheeks, this for his nose, and this we're using the pink burlap. And you're going to wrap that. So you're going to have two pink, two black eyeballs, two of the little cheeks, and a little pink nose. And what we're going to do on this is you're going to take probably up at the top here, and we're going to stick this right here, this whole thing, right through the mesh and pull it from the back. We're going to do both of those, and let's place it before we do any kind of tying in or anything of that nature. So we're just going to pull them through. Okay, so we got his eyeballs in. So we're going to do his nose. Let's put his nose right here. And his little chubby cheeks, I guess you call it, or nose, just part of his nose like rabbits have. We're going to put that through there. And they're going to go under his nose. So, when you get them all put under, you're gonna, it's going to look like that. Then we're going to take some black chenille stems. And these are, let's see, about, well, we've cut them to they're about, well, they're about 12 inches long, so I guess we didn't cut them. So, and then we're going to put one down towards the bottom. I'll just push it through a little bit. Put it right there. Push this about the middle part of his nose, little cheeks, like this. And you can bend these however you want to and make them however long the whiskers that you want to be. One kind of coming out the top part of it, like this. So now we're going to do the other side. In the middle again. And the top part of the bowl. Now we're going to turn this over and fasten these in in just a minute. Just kind of wanted to get them placed where we want them to be. Make sure that's where we want it to be. Because you're going to have to bend them and play with them a bit. To make them do how you want to. And no wrong way. no perf You know, there's no perfect way and there's no wrong way. But this is what your face is going to look like when you get done. All right, now I'm going to show you how we do the ears on the bunny. So let's lay this aside. And this is going to be the ear. And this is what we're going to attach to the bunny. And what we did was we took a clothes hanger. We bent it around. We cut the end of it off. We bent it around and twisted it and tied it together right there. Then we took the deco wire that we had before and we run it down like that. Now what you're going to do with this is the exact same concept as what you're going to do, you did the bunny with. 
let me grab a few of these pink ones. But what I recommend is doing the pink first. And this pink is the same jute that we used on his nose. So you'll be, it's probably gonna take about a whole roll by the time you do both ears and you do the nose. Maybe not quite a roll, but it'll take close to it. So you need to go ahead and purchase your roll of that. You'll need you some cream, the ivory jute, uh, if you want to do the, the little cheeks. Uh, if you have some ivory deco mesh, you probably can use it too, but I don't think it has the same texture as the burlap, so I like the way the burlap looks better. But you're going to do this the same way, and you're going to mash it down the same way where they're close together. Once you get this all filled up, then you're going to go around the edge with your white. You're going to go around both edges with your white deco mesh. I mean, your yeah, your white snowball mesh, sorry. Once you go around all the way around the outside, on both sides, and then you're going to take, then like you've got this right here. This is the way it'll look when you get around the outside. So then you're just going to kind of smash, push the, the pink back a little bit, smash this together so that it's not quite as fat as what it was. So your ears should look like this. And then I'm going to show you how to attach it all on. All right, so now you have your ears attached. And how we done that is we just took this, the coat hanger, stuck it down in the back of the bunny and zip tied in it right directly into the frame. And you can put these any place you want to. Uh, I put them kind of right above the eyeball so that they're kind of together. You could kind of space them out a little farther if you don't like the way that looks straighten up your little whiskers and then what I'm going to do is just take a little bow tie just a simple little bow and I'm going to tie it onto the bottom of the frame right under here where his neck would be now you can use any color ribbon that you prefer um, to do this with it doesn't have to be this color any kind you have laying around uh, as a scrap or anything would do the same thing. And I'm just going to tie that directly to the frame. And I'm going to pull it out. You could also leave longer tails if you prefer. And so this is what you end up with. If you like this video, be sure to leave us feedback. Let us know what you'd like to see. Uh, be sure to subscribe to this channel because that's where you're going to see your newest videos. Uh, join us on Pinterest, like us on Facebook, and we hope you've enjoyed this as much as we have, and be sure to be creative today. Thank you.